G'day guys, today I'm going to take you through the installation of the Pi OS onto what is a Raspberry Pi 3. I'm using the 3 because that's what I got around because my 4B is currently running my home assistant server and I didn't want to crack it out and lose the ability to just click to something else and just cracked on. And what the Pi is going to do now is go through some very, very basic setup stuff. All right, create yourself a username. Just note that your username needs to start with a small letter. Um, my screen looks all right in this case, so I'm not gonna change it. Next bit is it's gonna wanna connect to Wi-Fi, which I'm gonna do. And then one of the last steps before we're into this thing is the software updates. And this will take, depending on the speed of your um, uh, network, it will take maybe 10 minutes to go through. Um, so it's a bit of time. So to get straight into it, the first thing you're gonna do is head across to raspberrypi.com software, uh, and you're gonna download the required flashing program. Um, there are downloads for Windows, Mac OS and also Ubuntu, uh, but I don't know why anyone would be using a Raspberry Pi with Mac, because yuck. All right, so once we've downloaded that, just install that program. I'm not gonna make you watch that because that's about as fun as much watching paint dry, which I generally try to leave to the weekends. Right, so cracking straight into it, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna install an SD card into a card reader uh, and once you've done that, come across to the program which should open. You want to select the Pi OS. It's going to be 32-bit. Uh, and then select your um, required SD. In this case, I'm putting a 128 gig SD card into it. Once you've done that, hit the right button. And yes, I do want to write to it. All right, so this is going to uh, write. Uh, then it's going to verify. At the end of that process, we'll come back and then I'll stick this thing into my Raspberry Pi and power her up. All right, guys, so the writing process is just completed and now my Pi is telling me, like now it's okay to eject it. So I grab the SD card and the next thing we do is we're gonna throw it straight into my Raspberry Pi board. So one of the things that's worth doing uh, while this is starting up at the moment is rather than powering your Pi off a standard USB port, um, grab a specific um, you know, USB power brick for it without issues. Uh, when I've used other power bricks, so yesterday I was using my laptop charger on, my, on this Pi and was getting low voltage warnings the entire time. So it's better to use that. So like I said, five volts, uh, 2.4 amps should do you, uh, but crack on with the startup process. All right, so we've got into the first bit. So one of the things you're gonna to need to do to this, at this stage, is connect yourself up a standard, good old fashioned mouse and keyboard to crack on with the next bits. You're just gonna go through some basic setup now scroll all the way up to Australia I probably should just click something else and just cracked on and what the Pi is going to do now is go through some very very basic setup stuff All 
right, create yourself a username. Just note that your username needs to start with a small letter. Um, my screen looks all right in this case, so I'm not gonna change it. Next bit is it's gonna to wanna to connect to Wi-Fi, which I'm gonna do. And then one of the last steps before we're into this thing is the software updates. And this will take, depending on the speed of your um, uh, network, it will take maybe 10 minutes to go through. Um, so it's a bit of time. Okay guys, now that we're back into the Pi and it started back up again, what I do is run through what is my standard test to make sure things are working okay which is to load a speed test of the internet system. So just load up the internet page. This is Chromium, this little ball up the top. Um, load up Google and then search for the speed test. Once you make sure that you've got the right keyboard now, don't expect this to be blisteringly fast, given you're running it on a Pi and also over a um, Wi-Fi uh, network. So this is about 10% of the speed that my desktop will get, which is okay, um, and is good enough for all our purposes. So this to me looks like everything is good, everything is running exactly how I'd expect it, uh, and this to me is a successful install. From here, then I'd go, go along and install any other elements that I would want to use for the specific projects. Now guys, what I'll do um, going forward, so I have a list of different things that I've done on Pies that I'm putting together videos to demonstrate how to do it. If there's anything specific that you want to see, so a project that you're doing that you want help with, um, please throw a comment down below and I will escalate those things in the comments up to the top of my make it list. Um, so you'll see a video potentially on things that you want sooner if you throw a comment down below. But if this has been helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, otherwise, have yourselves a great day and stay safe out there.